swivel jigs. They cost a fortune. You could spend 10 bucks for just three of them. Well, I've got three options to do it yourself to create these for a few cents each. Stay tuned. I've never used swivel jigs before, but I went to the Fisherman's Post school about a month ago and a couple guides advocated using these swivel jigs as a better way to catch some fish. Well, so of course I went out and checked them out and I was stunned at what I had to pay for these. I could pay nine bucks for three of them or I could pay seven bucks for three of them. And here they are. I spent some of my tens of dollars I make on YouTube ad revenue. Now I'm not going to open these because I'm going to use them in a future giveaway, but it stunned me at how expensive these things are and how easy they would be to make by yourself. So let's just jump into it and I'll show you the three options. I'll start with the worst and then get to the best. Before we get into the do-it-yourself options, let's deconstruct what one of these swivel jig heads looks like. As you can see from this picture, it's basically just a weight attached to a loop and then the hook. And the loop allows the hook to move freely to allow the bait to present a more lifelike appearance. So the first choice you have is the weight because regardless of the options, you've got to put a weight on the front. And this works fine with either a split, standard split shot, pick your weight. I like the bullet split, shot, split shots because I don't think that they get hung up as much with the pointy end being able to no negotiate over obstacles. Or you could even use a bullet weight and peg it just like you would use for uh, any other kind of a rig. So with that in mind, let's start with the worst option, but still a decent option to create a swivel jig head. And for this option, basically you just take the hook, you put it on a swivel, and then put the weight up ahead of it. The swivel is going to allow the hook to move independently. The negative of this, of course, is the weight is quite a distance away from the eye of the hook. And when you look at a standard jig head, you can see that that might, you know, be a bad thing. The second option is to basically just get a snap link and do the same thing. I didn't have real small snap links, so you can see I've got a big one on here and the hook can move freely and I've got the split shot attached to the front of the snap link. Again, I don't like this as much as the cheapest option which requires no hardware other than the weight and that is this right here. Basically you tie a loop knot and I'll show you how to do that in a minute and attach the weight to the front. Now the hook moves independent of the knot on the line and you've duplicated all the action of the standard swivel jig head. Now, you may like jig heads that have some color to them, you know, like these, what are these, uh, Texas eyes, and that's where you can go to the dollar store, get some nail polish, and go ahead and paint them up. Here's a jig head I painted up last year, and it's held up pretty well. So the key thing, of course, is the knot, and the easiest knot the loop knot that I like to use is the cray loop and very quickly and again you can look at my video on how to do this you just tie an overhand knot you stick that onto the eye of the hook and then you thread the tag end back up through the overhand knot in the same direction and this is what makes this very quick is you can uh, tie this with a forceps or a pair of needle nose pliers and you're just going to take that up through the hole, pull it back through, again watch my other video on this and you can see that I've created a nice loop right there that allows the hook to move independently. So there's the cheap option. You don't need to spend 10 bucks on these things when you can just make a cray loop, throw a split shot or some other weight on the front of it and have a nice swivel operation. If you've got a good do-it-yourself option to create these expensive swivel jig heads, you know, throw it in the comments below because I'm cheap and I like the cheap options. Thanks.